Oh, we got a big game tonight on ESPN as the Milwaukee Bucks face the Minnesota Timberwolves. Stephen A is down there in Minnesota, part of our All Access coverage. And with us now, star Carl Anthony Towns. Kat, thank you so much for being with us this morning. No, pleasure. Good to see you, bro. Good to see right. you. Good Looking to see you, man. I saw that jump shot at All Star. Okay. <laughs> Stephen A. You, 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 saw, you, you saw the one I made, not the 15 I missed before I bust my ass, but that's a different story for another day. It's good to see you, my brother. <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's great to have yeah. you with us. So this might arguably the best T-Wolves team you've been on, right, since entering <laughs> the league in 2015. What would it mean to you personally if this Timberwolves team finished with the best record in the West? And we know how thick it is. I mean, it would mean a lot. It would just show that all the work we've put in since the offseason and in uh, training camp <clears throat> has uh, come to fruition. And we are ending up being the team that we wanted to be, the team we talked about ourselves being since day one. Uh, it would mean a lot, but it's going to mean more if we could do something with that number one seed in the playoffs. So uh, it's going to be a great achievement if we could accomplish it. I feel like we could accomplish it. I think we all have the confidence we could do it. Uh, but it's about doing uh, something with that record in the playoffs. Uh, uh, Molly, before I ask my question to Carl Anthony Towns, you have a right to know uh, yeah. that, you know, Carl Anthony Towns is involved in one of the stupidest predictions I've ever made in my life because I had questions about him being the number one overall pick and his wonderful family never, ever, ever fails to remind me of that back in the day. <laughs> so, 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 I mean, they had to check me. I had to I apologize to the Towns family. So that, that's how far back we go. <laughs> but, but, Kat, I got to ask you this, bro. Uh, when when Rudy Rudy Gobert yeah. arrived in Minnesota. I had my reservations because I said the league plays a relatively, you know, relatively smaller lineups. You're going to have folks pulling y'all away from the basket because they know they can't deal with that height on the front line. And as a result, it might impede y'all success. And I think that's what happened to some degree last year. That is not the case this year. As y'all are the number one seed right now, you're number one in defensive efficiency. Talk to me about you and Rudy Gobert's relationship and how that has evolved to being so effective for y'all this season compared to what we saw last season? Yeah, I think that just timing, you know, just having time with each other, being able to be on the court with each other. Last year kind of just didn't go the way it needed. Rudy came in after playing uh, in the summer, a little hurt and banged up, and then I got obviously hurt last year as well. So the timing was off, but this offseason we got in the gym, we worked on our games, we, we got more familiar with each other, and then as well it came to the season. and. In Abu Dhabi, I think we uh, started to see the fruits of our labor, you know, just seeing the chemistry be there, um, the trust being there. <clears throat> and with him, you know, he makes all of us a better defensive player just because he impacts the game defensively so much. So uh, being able to trust Rudy on defense, all of us, and we all raised our game defensively because of him. It just shows the impact he has on our team, the importance he is to our team. Uh, and why I think that why we're number one in defense is all because of Rudy Gobert. Hmm. Yeah, I want to get into another teammate, Anthony Edwards. What makes yeah. him so special? Uh, I mean, just like what you just saw, it brings a smile to all of our faces. Uh, I think when he <laughs> uh, when he's playing the game he's playing right now, I think it's he's he's one of the top players in the NBA. And then you mix that in with the charisma and the personality he has. Uh, he's a huge boost for our locker room as well. So Anthony Edwards is special. Uh, I keep saying, and, and he hates when I say it, but he's going to be the face of the NBA uh, sooner than later. So uh, we're just super honored that we all get to play with him. We all get to help him in this process of maturing and becoming the face. And I think that the future is very, very bright for him. <clears throat> Well, I, I, I'd say I think that says a lot about you because obviously for years you were the star of this team and here you are talking about how he's going to be the face of this league. So I think that says a lot about you as a teammate. And I'll ask you this question, piggybacking off of what you just said about Anthony Edwards. When he was chirping back and forth, him and Shea Gilgis Alexander, I loved it because I think that's what the NBA is all about. Everybody, everybody's just talking about competing yeah. against one another at a very high level. I think that's great for the league, but I also think it's emblematic of the personality trend transplant that he has infused in this locker room because because of his ascension and the kind of and the kind of dog that he is in a very complimentary way I think that's brought out the best in all of y'all am I wrong in thinking that I think that when you have someone with that talent who is playing at the level that he's playing at right now 
uh, it's going to bring out the best of us. And of, of course, his character, his personality uh, makes uh, coming to work fun every day. Uh, I could keep singing the praises of Anthony Edwards. I've watched him since he got drafted. And uh, just to see the mature, how he's matured and grown as not only as a player, but as a man, uh, I'm proud of him. Uh, I, I, I'll say that right now. I'm just uh, tremendously proud of him and uh, the steps he's taken to get to this level right now. And there's more steps to go. So uh, I think when uh, Anthony is playing and, 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 and showing us, you know, I think when he's seeing the game the way he's seeing it right now, it's going to help all of us. We, this is a team game. And for us to uh, have one big part of our team uh, playing and acting that way, it's going to obviously, you know, bring up the whole locker room. Yeah, just hearing you speak, you're the ultimate teammate, and your humility is really impressive as well. Uh, you had a couple impressive scoring nights. You dropped 62, one of the best. I know it was a loss. And then obviously in the All-Star yeah. game, you dropped 50. All-Star game wasn't the most competitive. What are your thoughts on all the criticism that came after that All-Star game from guys like Stephen A.? Uh, you know, obviously, he, the fans... The fans and the legends want to see a more competitive game. Uh, I think for me, the only thing I could do is control what I could do. And I know that when I have those moments, when I'm playing on Sunday, and I'm honored to be representing all my teammates in this organization on that, in that game, uh, I'm going to go out there and compete. Uh, every time I've been in an All-Star weekend on a, Saturday, on a Saturday night, I've always competed at the highest level, and nothing's going to change on Sunday. So uh, I can only speak for myself when I say, you know, when every time I step on the court, on Sunday, and I'm, I'm honored and blessed to have the opportunity. I'm going to go out there and compete. Uh, I thought last Sunday was just me trying to compete at a high level, uh, do the best I can, make my organization, my family proud, and uh, I hope I did that. You know, I, I want you to talk about others. We talked about Rudy Gobert. We talked about Anthony Edwards. But when we look at you as the number one seed and we think about a team led by Shea Gilgis Alexander in Oklahoma City, one of the things that's said about them that's not said about y'all is their girth, their size. We know they're young thoroughbreds, but in the same breath. Do they have the size that can really help them as the playoffs arrive? Nobody is saying that about y'all. Can you speak to me about y'all depth and your your size and how you anticipate that will help y'all come playoff time, particularly when you've got a team as deep and as experienced as the team that knocked y'all off, who happens to be the reigning defending NBA champion, Denver Nuggets. Yeah, I think for us, our, uh, our size is going to be our greatest advantage. You know, the fact that we've been able to find success playing a two big lineup and also at times we've shown the three big lineup with Nas Reed, who's an integral part of our team. So, uh, to be able to have that size, and if we're shooting the ball the way that we've shown during the season when we're hot, uh, it's hard to make us not uh, score over 110 points. And uh, with our defense being leading the league in below 100-point games uh, from opponents, uh, I think that if we could just find ways to find that, that, that standard, that consistency every single night right now while we finish up this regular season. We can step into the playoffs as a team that's ready to hold opponents under 100 points and score over 100 points. Uh, it's a recipe for success. Uh, it's a standard and a consistency that needs to be built and, and, and honed every single day right now while the regular season is going on so that when we get to the to the playoffs, we are that championship caliber team that we need to be. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think we're a final product right now. I don't think we're at that level right now that we need to be, and it's okay. We have 27 more games. We got a big game tonight against uh, a, a, a defending champion in the last few years in the Milwaukee Bucks and uh, one of the best players in the league in Giannis. So we have a great opportunity to continue to test ourselves, to continue to build, continue to find ways to improve as our team finds ourselves. Uh, after the last 27 games of this regular season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, appreciate the mindset, love the focus, and would love to see a new squad in it at the end. And I think it's fair to say the big man position is not dying. Uh, thank you so much no, it's for not. being I, I, with I, us. I, I, I just want yeah. to put it on a record, Molly, right in front sure, of Cat right of here while he's on national television. I don't mind. Now, if, if this were football, I would, I would not root for y'all at all because that means I would have to be in Minnesota during the winter time, and I ain't trying to hear that. But <laughs> since I, I, I'm told May and June, the weather is considerably better, I'm cool with it if y'all end up going deep. I, I, I'm all right with
with it. I hear the weather is, is a lot better. It's cool. It's, it's, it's all right. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. It's really nice right now. It's really nice. You'll like it. You'll like it. You'll like it. All right. Okay. I'm about 31 degrees right now, but okay.